Hey guys, Armin Gun here. Today we have a Tavor Tar 21. This is a bullpup rifle. We're going to go through the shooting and controls today. I'm going to show you guys how to run this thing. So we're going to go through some manipulations like mag changes, all the different controls, how this thing runs, and a few just pointers about it as well. So again, this is a bullpup rifle. We'll just prove it clear real quickly here. So chamber's open, mag is uh, empty. So let's kick this thing off with a few rounds downrange. All right, so nice, easy shooting gun. This thing features a last round bolt hold open. So you can see the chamber here is empty. Basically after the last round fired, the bolt remains to the rear and that makes magazine changes extra quick and uh, convenient. So we'll pull this magazine out for now. I got this coupled mag by Cross Industries. So we got another 10 in the bottom, but I'll just go ahead and put that magazine back in my pouch and we're gonna go through some controls here. So we have the safety selector here, safe. R is for fire, it's ready. It's ambidextrous, so it's set up on both sides of the firearm. I have a extended rail on here, so I can get a forward vertical grip. I personally like this for my shooting preference, or shooting style, it's gonna be up to your preference though. But I can just get my hand up on here, get a little extra grip on the, on the rifle, pull it close to my chest when I'm shooting, and that just really helps control the recoil. Though to be honest guys, there's not much recoil in this thing. We've also got uh, a non-reciprocating charging handle. Non-reciprocating means that it's uh, gonna stay in place when I'm shooting. A reciprocating charging handle is gonna go back and forth and cycle with every single shot. So this is kind of nice, because this way if you want to uh, get your, your support hand on there and wrap up around this thing, you can do that if you want. It's not gonna stop the gun when you're shooting. Now I do have a compensator on here, this one from AAC, and it's, it's a combination compensator flash hider. I'm gonna show you another cool device that uh, mitigates some of the adverse effects that running a compensator produces. We'll talk about that a little more later though. Last thing I wanna cover with you guys while this thing is out here is the balance and the weight of the rifle. Now bullpup is really nicely balanced. A lot of the weight is back here, which means you hold it between your shooting hand and your shoulder, and it allows you to really carry that rifle really well. And basically you can, you can run the gun essentially one-handed if you want to. So enough talking, let's run another mag and then we'll discuss some manipulations and some mag changes. So we'll get this magazine in here and run another 10 rounds on that target. All right, so now let's cover some of the different techniques in magazine changes. So again, we're clear here, magazine, both sides is totally empty. So when you're doing a mag change on a Tavor, the TAR 21s anyways, have a couple of unique manipulations. The most basic is gonna be your grip it and rip it. So basically grip it with the support hand, push this little tab down. This is the magazine release right here. The nice thing is again, it's ambidextrous. So you can run this from either side. Grip it, depress, rip it out, reholster this or just chuck it if you're in a hurry. And then when you go to cycle a new one in, the bolt release is right here. It's in a great spot for your thumb. So basically you just come in, insert that magazine straight on, thumb is up, Depress that, that drops your bolt, and you're now ready to go again. Triggers live, boom. So that's that. Let's uh, explore a couple others here. So you can also bump back with your shooting hand. So you can just come back here, bump this, and that's gonna drop the mag. Your support hand can be ready to be going down to grab a new magazine, to then come back in here and again, boom. Now, alternatively, you can, uh, now it's not gonna work for me because I've got no magazines. This is designed to lock back on an empty magazine. So we'll just pretend here, if I'm gonna go put this magazine in, instead of pushing down your thumb, you can get in the habit of the uh, tap it and rack it. So basically throw it in, tap it, come up here and let the charging handle go from there. That's gonna be one option. You can also, do it with the other hand, side of your hand as well. So in, tap, rack. And the, the nice thing with this is it's, it's a little bit more forgiving if you have a malfunction. If something went wrong with the gun, you had a double feed or something else, and then you just went to drop the bolt, it could still get hung up. Whereas if you do a fresh rack, it's always gonna cycle that out, clear that malfunction, and you should always get a fresh round in the chamber. So guys, let's put some of this into practice now. So basically we're gonna function as if this was a mag change. So we got 
empty mag in, grip it, rip it, fresh mag in, depressed, on target, pull the trigger. All right. All right, guys. So this is a different mag. We're empty. We're clear. I'm going to go through another cool device you can throw on your guns that uh, basically when you're running a compensator or a brake like this, um, part of that, what, what mitigates the recoil is all the gases coming out. They hit these, these little chambers in here and that's what keeps the gun forward. However, that produces a bunch of concussion that can either bother you as the shooter or it can bother, you know, the rest of your entry team. If you're in a tactical scenario, close quarters type thing, or if you're just at the shooting range indoors, shooting beside a bunch of other guys. So what you can do is throw this nifty little device on there. Again, we're clear. A lot of these just screw onto a muzzle device, much like a suppressor would. And that basically just contains all that concussion and it throws it down range. So then it's not nearly as bothersome to all those around you. So get rid of that magazine, throw this one in, over here, bracket, and let's do this. All right, again, we are clear. And that's just a really handy device that uh, really, uh, really mitigates that concussion. All right, let's show you how good the trigger is on this thing. I do have a Geisley in here. It is very, very nice. Super nice clean pull. Very crisp break. And I will give you guys a couple shots. Free recoil here. So you can see what this thing is like. It's a compensated 223 rifle. So there's very little recoil, but So very, very minor, very, very moderate shooting gun. We're, uh, we're clear here now. And uh, just, just a pleasure to shoot this thing. Very controllable, very easy to maintain on target, follow-up shots. It's a, uh, it's a really nice platform. All right, guys, I've got a few magazines here set up with just one round each. I'm gonna try and do a couple quick magazine changes for you guys. Basically just shoot, have the bolt lock back, do a quick magazine change, get back on target, take that shot, get that, uh, auditory confirmation that I hit it and then proceed to the next one. So we'll try and do a few of those here for you guys, just so you get a feel for some ah, quick action oriented manipulations with this thing. So I've got a loaded magazine in here. We've got one in the chamber, safety off, boom. Okay, come back, pop that out, fresh mag in, hit that. Didn't seat that guy far enough in there. So basically when I dropped that bolt then, didn't uh, didn't get one in. So I gotta really uh, tap it. Let's rack this one. All right guys, we are clear. That's gonna do it for the, uh, the shooting overview on the Tavor TAR-21. We'll try to get some more bullpups here for you guys to see as well. Bullpups are definitely underappreciated, I think, in the North American market. They're an exotic kind of platform, but they have a lot of uh, a lot of merit to them. Again, that balance, the way you can get a full size. In this case, this is an 18.6 inch barrel, and this gun is still very small and compact overall length. Very quick to bring up and get on target. I've got a loopholed HAMR here, which is a three and a half power, I believe, in the bottom. And then a red dot up top, which is a nice little handy optic for me on the range. Now guys, if you like my content, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram right here. I post daily posts, behind the scenes stories, lots of good stuff. Thank you for being here with me. I do appreciate it. And I will, guys, I will, uh, I'll catch you next time. Arm and Gun, out.